Hey everyone. Um, so for our drawing of our first practice, Zentangle Animal, we are going to work on a butterfly together. So every single Wednesday, we will be adding more to our butterfly. So fun things about butterflies, they're really hard to make perfect. So this is what I suggest we do. I know this sounds a little cheesy, but if you have an extra piece of paper, it doesn't matter if it's lined or not, because we are going to create a pattern for this. That way, when you're drawing, you don't have to sit there and worry about like um, cutting things a hundred times. It'll just be completely done for you. So this is going to be like the body part that I want for my butterfly. Remember, if you are making a pattern and you got your paper folded completely in half, if you put a curved area in there, you're going to have two little bottoms on your butterfly. So don't do that. So this is what I want for the body of my butterfly because I have to keep it in mind that I want like a middle line area. And then from this point, I know that I want a butterfly wing that comes way out and then kind of comes down. I want it to be an interesting butterfly. So easy cheesy idea. Not as easy when you go to draw it sometimes so this is why it's good to have a pattern every once in a while because then you don't have to worry about symmetrical things sometimes it's hard to make a symmetrical this part off. All right. And I'm going to flip this open really quick. Okay, so I have a butterfly pattern, right? And I'm going to just put it right on. Whoops. Here's the fun part, tracing on a really thin piece of paper. Put it on my drawing sketchbook or I'm going to change this part up. I want it to be a little bit more round. I think I might even make the body a little bit longer. I'm going to go back and touch that up. The good thing about doing this stuff is we have erasers. So don't draw too dark because that way you can erase and not have weird lines on stuff. Okay, so I have this part. And I'm just going to go back in here and fix up the body a little bit. Not exactly how I wanted it. So I'm going to bring this little body right in here. Because we all know how butterflies are. They have segments because they are insects. And then I'm going to bring this part way down. They're almost like fancy paint brushes when you really look at them. You know, they got like the little area to help hold the thumb and they got their little head. Okay, so we have this stuff right in here. I might even touch up this part a little bit more too because I want my little butterfly to look like a butterfly. There we go. Now he's got a little head. And we'll put like fancy little antenna on him or her, whoever. Okay. So we got this stuff going on. And now I'm going to, now I know that the top wing always overlaps the bottom wing. So I want to make sure that I do that really quick. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about, drawing symmetrical stuff. It's not easy. Always start with the side where you're going to be able to see it afterwards. So you sh I should have started with this side instead of this side. But that's okay because I know that if I draw light until I got it right, I will be fine. Okay, and then the bottom wing is always overlapped, but you're not going to see that part. And I like to make it look like they're actually like, see that looks a lot better. I want to make my butterfly look pretty cool. All about observation. 
making sure that you have things that See, this is where we start getting into that whole symmetrical piece where we have to erase a hundred times because things have to look just right because you know what has to be. All right, so we have like the basic shape of our butterfly. So this is where the fun part comes in. We can we can add stuff to this. For example, we have some different things we could be doing with this. Um, first off, I'm going to erase this little piece because I decided that I don't want that there. And then I'm going to add some different little designs that go inside my butterfly. So they always have like these little veins that separate areas. And I am going to do that. Um, they come out of different segments. So I want this one to be here. And I want... I know that I want I think, kind of about right in here and they have these big designs that come out so do that I'm gonna do that on this side we use that measuring tool of yours that you can never lose is your finger so that way everything can be almost as close as possible when you're making it Yeah, that's pretty close. All right. And I know that from this point, so I want to make this one a little bit thicker and I want to bring it up into here and I want this little line to continue on. This is kind of important stuff because it, well, it's important stuff to me. How's that? Because I want my butterfly to look like a butterfly and not some crazy thing going on here let me see so we got this piece and this piece all right so it's all about being symmetrical which is kind of like a difficult thing that we chose for the first piece but it's not horrible so now I know that I want this part to come out so I want to create sections for when I do my Zen tangles All right, so I know that I told you guys to start on this side, and then I just didn't do that. So bad Mrs. Comstock right there. And it is okay that it is off a little bit. I will deal with it. Okay, and then I'm going to want... Some more little sections right here so this one's gonna come down it's gonna go up it's gonna come down it's gonna go up let me see I want to hook this one to that one and then I want to create a space right here so I'm gonna hook this one to this one I'm gonna create a space right here and it's gonna come down it's gonna come back over it's gonna go back up a little bit at the same time usually makes everything a lot easier. I'm going to put this one right in here. And I am going to put... I think I like that. Put some circles right in here because I like to have... They have little details and stuff. I'm going to put... A line that comes down here and it comes up and up and up and it goes back up so a line that comes down right here and it goes up and up and up goes back up they're not perfect but they'll do 
So then from this section, we're going to have these little pieces that are going to come back over. So they're creating these little circular designs. So we have some different areas that we can put um, our Zentangles in. And if you want to make it really exciting, we can add some little pieces at the bottom later. But this is what I got so far. If you decide to add some more little things in yours, you are more than welcome to. Can't wait to see what you guys make. Make sure you upload a picture when you're done so I can see that we're all together. <laughs>